To understand the construction taking place on the Arboretum Waterway, it's important to know what it is and what it's not. It is a pond that is dammed at both ends. It has not been part of Puda Creek since the 1870s, when the creek was diverted to the south to prevent frequent flooding. It is the location where all our campus stormwater eventually flows. It's also the outlet for all our campus's recycled water. This is a benefit because the waterway receives an influx of clean, fresh water, especially important during the summer. But it also poses challenges due to the high nutrient levels. All these facts, the stagnant water pond design, high nutrient water, and hot summers, are a recipe for algae. Lots of it. It's also an opportunity for some pretty nasty bacteria to flourish. Figuring out how to fix these issues has been no small feat. Different groups proposed ideas over many decades. Finally, after extensive evaluation with campus planning and community partners, Arboretum and Public Garden staff came up with a comprehensive plan to renovate the entire waterway. They began with a pilot phase, solely on the waterway's east end, introducing weirs and creating small elevation changes that promoted enough flow to combat the rapid growth of duckweed and algae. Based on the success of the first phase, they're continuing the journey to the rest of the waterway. Thanks to a $5.4 million grant from the California Natural Resources Agency, supplemented by Campus Deferred Maintenance Funds, the Arboretum and Public Garden has officially started construction on the new Arboretum Waterway Flood Protection and Habitat Enhancement Project, with construction occurring over two years, from about April to November. The whole project should be completed by winter 2026. This project involves constructing additional weirs, creating space for six acre feet of more water, replacing most of the concrete edges with earthen banks adorned by native plantings, narrowing sections to facilitate faster water movement, and adding wetland habitat features and plantings. As construction progresses, stay tuned for opportunities to participate in volunteer planting events led by students in the Arboretum and Public Gardens Learning by Leading Waterway Stewardship Program. These students help care for this investment while gaining real-world leadership experience in stormwater management and native habitat restoration. Together, we're creating a brighter, more beautiful, and sustainable future right here at UC Davis.